Today we're checking out the AI41 bookshelf speakers from Fluence. Hey friends, welcome back. So these are the AI41 bookshelf speakers from Fluence. They are self-powered or active speakers, meaning that they have the amplifier built inside. And basically these are designed to be the perfect complement to your existing vinyl setup. So if you've already got a turntable and you're looking for some quality speakers to go with it, then these might be the right choice for you. Now, full disclosure, Fluence did send me these for a review. However, all of my thoughts and opinions about these speakers are my own. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open everything up. Okay, so as you can see, the box comes with eight items in total. We've got the left and right speakers, the remote control, the power cord, two AAA alkaline batteries for the remote, eight feet of 18 gauge speaker wire, a catalog featuring other speakers and turntables that Fluence sells, and finally the manual, which they call the quick start guide to get you up and running. Now, if we get rid of everything else for a second and just take a look at the speakers alone, the first thing you'll notice is that they look really freaking good. The color of these particular speakers is known as Lucky Bamboo, and I think they look pretty unique and classy. So on the front, we get this nice ivory white color with a matte finish, and on the sides, we have a beautiful bamboo texture. Now, of course, it's not real bamboo wood because the speakers are made from MDF, but it does look nice regardless. Now, if we look on the front of these speakers, you'll notice that we get one inch neodymium tweeters, which deliver the high frequencies, and five inch woven glass fiber composite drivers, which deliver the mid-range and low frequencies. And speaking of that, the overall frequency response of these speakers is 35 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So that range pretty much covers you for everything except for the lowest bass tones that normally you'd only be able to achieve with a large subwoofer. Now on the right speaker, you'll also notice that there's a little black control knob, which allows you to access the volume, input selection, and turns the speakers on or off. Now as a side note, you can also use the included remote to turn these speakers on as well, but we'll get back to that in a bit. Now, right next to that control knob is a small LED, and the color of this LED will tell you a lot about what the speaker is currently doing. So for example, if it's a solid red, it's in standby mode, flashing blue means Bluetooth pairing mode, solid green means RCA input, solid white means optical input, and so on and so forth. So if you wanna know what each of these colors means in detail, then definitely take a look at the manual, which will explain all of them. Now, if we flip the speakers around, we can see all the different connections, and most of them are on the right speaker. So starting on the top right, we have a little R right here, indicating that this is in fact the right speaker. So moving our way down, we have the Bluetooth reset pairing button, the optical input, if you wanna hook them up to your TV, the RCA input for connecting to either your turntable, which has a built-in preamp, or an external preamp if your turntable does not have a built-in preamp. And finally, the subwoofer out, if you do happen to have a sub and want to use it with these speakers. Now, moving to the bottom of the right speaker, we have the left speaker out terminals. This is where you connect the included speaker wire, keeping in mind that red is positive and black is negative. To the right of that, we get the AC input. This is where you connect the power cable. To the right of that, we get the power switch. So go ahead and flip that on. And last of all, of course, we get the Canadian flag because Fluence is a Canadian company. Now, moving over to the left speaker, things are a lot simpler. All we have here is the speaker terminals. So yet again, red is positive and black is negative. And finally, on the bottom, each speaker also comes with four rubber feet, just to provide a little bit of isolation from whatever surface you're gonna be placing these speakers on. Now, that being said, in addition to these, you might also wanna pick up some speaker foam or even dedicated speaker stands to further isolate these speakers and prevent any vibrations from transferring to your turntable. Now, moving on to the remote, this is also a nice thing to have with these speakers. As I mentioned earlier, 
earlier, you can use it to turn the speakers on or off, control the volume, select the source, raise or lower the bass or treble, mute the speakers, control the brightness of the LED on the right speaker, or when you're in Bluetooth pairing mode, play the music, pause, skip forward to the next track, or skip backward to the previous track. So you've got a lot of different options depending on what you want to do. And as a side note, I also really like how when you press any button on the remote, the little LED in the front blinks a little bit, letting you know that it's registering those changes. So that's kind of reassuring, and I like that. Now, the only items that are not included inside the box are an RCA cable for connecting your turntable, an optical cable for connecting your TV, and finally, speaker grills, which would protect the front of these speakers from dust or damage. So the absence of these items isn't really a deal breaker, but it is something you should keep in mind. Now, before we talk sound quality, there are two important things to keep in mind. First, according to the manual, you'll need to allow these speakers to play for 10 to 12 hours at medium volume to properly break them in. This break-in period is important for better sound. So basically it's like breaking in a new baseball glove. It's gonna get better with time. Now the second thing to keep in mind is that if you are gonna use these speakers with a turntable that has a built-in preamp, like the Fluence RT81, then make sure you set the little switch on the back of the turntable to line. And this will ensure that the built-in preamp is in fact turned on. And when you connect everything to the speakers, the sound will be loud enough. So to help you keep that in mind, just remember the saying, switch it to line and you'll be just fine. Now, speaking of connecting everything, if you get these speakers, you won't even need a receiver. You just hook these up directly to your turntable via the red and white RCA connections, and you're gonna be totally set up to start playing records. So think of it like this. If you wanna connect a bunch of different stuff, like a turntable, cassette deck, and a CD player, all to the same speakers, then these speakers are not the right choice for you. And you should probably go with a receiver. Now, on the other hand, if you just wanna play records, records, and you also want the option to play music off your phone, TV, or other Bluetooth-enabled device, then these speakers are the right choice for you. So it really just depends on what your needs are. Receivers have a bunch of RCA inputs, but these speakers only have one. So keep that in mind. Now the biggest question of all is, how do they actually sound? And the answer is, pretty darn good considering both their size and their price. At six and a half inches wide and seven and a half inches deep, these speakers have a pretty small footprint but due to their built-in 90 watt amplifier, their sound can definitely fill a large room. I've been testing them out for about a week now and I've played lots of different types of music. Everything from Sade to Deftones. And I also cranked it up pretty loud. And across the board, everything sounded clean and accurate. And there was no distortion to be heard anywhere. So that was really nice. Now the bass was also pretty decent considering their small footprint. However, that being said, don't expect the same ground shaking bass that you'd hear from a massive subwoofer because these speakers weren't designed for that. So my advice would be if after listening to them, you're not satisfied with the bass, then you can always add a separate subwoofer down the road. So that's not gonna be a huge problem. Now, in addition to different genres of music that I played, I also bounced back and forth between playing records and playing music through the Bluetooth connection with my phone. And at no point at all during these tests did I experience any audio glitches or Bluetooth problems or anything like that. It never once dropped out or lost connection. So basically, these speakers are solid. Now, unfortunately, as I've mentioned in the past when I've done speaker reviews, I'm not gonna be able to play music through these speakers for you guys because the YouTube content police wouldn't like that very much, but suffice it to say that they do sound very good for their size. Now, let's talk about who these speakers are for. Are they for the high-end audiophiles who like to spend 10 grand or more on their setups? No, they're not. 
but they are for those collectors who've maybe just bought their first turntable and are looking for quality speakers to go along with it, as well as having the option to play music off their phone or hook them up to their TV. Because honestly, these speakers are gonna sound way better than what you would normally get with a sound bar. So considering everything for their price, their sound, and their functionality, these speakers are a fantastic value. So if you wanna check them out for yourself, I'll put their link in the video description down below. All right, now before we go, today's song of the day is Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day as well, post it in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. Okay, so those are my thoughts on these speakers, but what speakers do you currently have in your vinyl setup? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love collecting records as much as I do, then feel free to subscribe and hit that little bell notification right down there so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all, friends, have a fantastic day, stay safe out there, and keep spinning that vinyl.